Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to add MS SQL stored procedure with or without parameter in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is a final output here. After adding a parameter stored procedure. So if you want to change the parameter, I am just clicking on transform data and then edit parameters. In that, if I select instead of North America, if I select Europe and then click OK, apply changes. It just go and fetch the data from the data source and load it to the model. See here, it changes from North America to Europe, the group and the details as well. So this one kind of advantage using the parameter stored procedure in Power BI. Let's have a look at the stored procedure on SQL Server. So this is script of stored procedure. As you are aware of the stored procedure usage, you can use multiple calculations inside it. And you can use the parameter or without parameter as well. Without parameter, it will be added similar to that of view or a table. But with parameter, it is something different. So you need to define a parameter and you need to pass the parameter to get the actual result. The Power BI expert usually says that we need to keep as much as possible the data should be on the source itself. If you can't do it on the source, then make it on a data modeling that is on Power Query Editor. Even in that state, you can't able to do that, then you have to go for the tax and measures. By this way, you will have a good performance on the Power BI. Here in this example, this is a simple one. Even though in this example, I have connected two tables, that is a sales territory, it is joined with the country region and the value is grouped by. So if you use the regular procedure, like if you add a sales territory table and then the country region table separately, on the Power BI and then you need to either go with the Power Query Editor group by or you need to write a DAX function as well. It will put load on the Power BI to extract the result. Instead of that, if you have a stored procedure like this, you can easily get the result out of it. So the script I written here is so select a group name and then territory name and a country name and sales YDD sum of. So it is joined with the sales territory table with the country region with the country code and it is grouped by these names and filtering result based on the group that is North America, Pacific and Asia. So let's go and add the tables in the Power BI. For that you need to go to get data and then click on SQL server. You need to type the server name and database name as well. After that if you click on this advanced option, it will expand this window. In that you will have like SQL statement optional but this requires a database. Enter database name as adventure work. So this is stored procedure. Execute the stored procedure and you need to define the parameter as well here. If you not define any parameter, say for example like this, and then click on OK, then it will give an error like this. We encountered an error while trying to connect. So detail is get sales YTD by group expect parameter this group name which was not supplied. Yeah, I need to click on edit. So I want to put the parameter value that is North America for example and then click OK. So this is the result and click on transform data. So this is the output here. Now if you click on the advanced editor, you will have the data source name, database name and the stored procedure with the static formula. Now if you want to use the dynamic one like I have seen in an example, so you need to add some more code here. So you need to add let parameter equal to group name x as text and equal to greater than sign the next step is you need to use this one and instead of North America I use this one to use the parameter which was defined a line above this is the one so these are the steps you need to add and in the last you need to add in param so done then it will convert the query into a function you need to enter the parameter. Say for example, I want to add the Pacific here. Click on Invoke. 
So it will give an message that permission is required to run this native database query. So click edit permission and then this is the procedure with the parameter and click run. So it stores the data here. Now just rename this table then click apply and close. So this is the outcome here. Group, country name, territory and then sales by TD. Now if you want to change the parameters, so click on transform data and there is no option here like edit parameters. For that you need to go again transform data that is power query editor. The next thing is you need to add a parameter. So click on manage parameter and new parameter. And then you need to give the parameter a name that is group by. And type here, you need to, it is a text, right? So it will type text. So just type value any list or query. So it is a list of values in query. In query, you need to select the group here. And current value is specific, for example. Group by is query, right? I have made a video about how you can add a query from the table in Power BI. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, I need to select the query as a group here. Click OK. So it's uh, created a new parameter as a group by that is basic value is specific. If you click on this group query, it has three value here, North America, Europe and Pacific. Now click on this table again, the shows procedure and click on advanced editor. In that, in the initial set, I used the Pacific as a default parameter. Instead of that, you need to add the recently created parameter group by. So just type it here as group by. So again, it's asking for edit permission. So just click on edit permission and run. This gives you data. data. Now click on apply and close. Now if you go to this transform data, you will have this option like edit parameters. So click on that. It will open up this one group by and you have three values here. If I select North America now and then click OK, click on apply changes. It just goes to the database and then sets the information and display to here. So it is showing an error message here. Column group in the table, get cells ASP contains the duplicate value, North America. And this is not allowed for columns of one side of many to one relationship or columns that are used as primary key of a table. So click close and let's have a look at the relationship. So modeling tab and then manage relationship. Yes, there is an active relationship here. Actually, I don't need the relationship here. So either you can inactive or delete. Here I want to delete this one. Click OK. Close. And again, click on apply changes. See here, it loads the data of North America instead of Pacific. Now again click on transform data, edit parameters and I want to select the Europe here, click OK, apply changes, it just fetched the data of Europe from the data source. So it's Europe, it is showing the result. So this is the way you can able to use this parameter stored procedure in Power BI. But the only drawback is you can't able to use this in Power BI service. Because there is no option you can able to change the parameters in the Power BI service as of now. But if you want to use in the desktop, you can use these kind of features. For the stored procedure without parameter, you can use in the desktop as well as in the Power BI service. So this is the way you can able to add without and with parameter stored procedure in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.